hi guys you welcome back to the channel it's joey ng and i've been away for quite some time now again but yeah i'm still looking for cast film for the channel and i'm still not getting any positive feedback for now so today i'll be talking about engine displacement because i've had people ask me what goes into an engine having 5.0 liter size or 2.0 liter size and all that so for today i'll be talking much about engine displacements my mpgs and all that so let's get right into it i'm sure you might have seen numbers or items such as 1.8 liter 5.6 liter or 2.0 liter in the engine specs of a car you could go for details uh, these are rather useful terms which describes the engine size and the uh, engine size of, a, of an engine or a car is usually determined by the total volume of its cylinders. Normally we have or normally the number of cylinders in an engine usually varies from 3 to 12 cylinders for most cars and let's say for the rather unconventional cars they have as many as 16 cylinders and it's most of the supercars that pack as many as 12 to 16 cylinders so so to put it simply engine displacement is the end for your car's engine can combust at a certain period or article or engine displacement is the combined volume of air and fuel resulting from the up and down movement of pistons in the cylinder and this up and down movement of the pistons is simply when the piston moves to its highest point which is called the top dead center and moves back down to the lowest point which is also called the, the bottom dead center and up again and down again Aside from the number of cylinders, you need to also consider the bore and stroke. The bore is simply the diameter of the cylinder and the stroke refers to the distance the piston covers as it moves up and down. So for instance, if you have a 2 liter 4 cylinder car, it means that a 2 liter refers to the combined capacity of the 4 cylinders. It's basically the maximum volume of and for what your cylinders can accommodate, which is the 2.0 liter. And the engine capacity really plays a crucial role in determining the power and torque of your car. Torque is simply the pulling power of your car, and cars with high power and low torque engines, they start very slowly, but they gain the pace as the engine starts spinning. And these days, we have these car manufacturers attaching or installing turbochargers to the small sized engine, and turbochargers are literally just small devices that are attached to their small engines to boost the power they generate i'm sure you might have seen cars having the 1.8 t or the 2.0 t badges at the back of their cars it basically means that their cars have their engines turbocharged so they generate quite a little more power than what is supposed to actually produce and this does not mean that your car has been made into a sports car or something i know most guys having cars having these cars turbocharged or something think that they have some kind of sports cars if a car's engine specification states that it produces 100 or 200 horsepower it simply means that when the car's engine is running and reaches a certain number of rotation per minute it produces 100 or 200 horsepower and horsepower simply refers to the amount of power your car produces and we have some cars producing as much as 1000 horsepower that goes to show how powerful such a car is and we have such cars producing as much as this horsepower and most of these cars are actually not that full efficient they actually are gas gasless and such cars are the sports cars that we have but we have some engines that are actually big V8s and they are actually four efficient and such an engine is the Land Cruiser, Toyota's Land Cruiser and that engine is the 5.6 and the 5.7 liter V8 engine. I mentioned MPG when I was talking about the Land Cruiser Prado so MPG can be basically explained as the miles per gallon which is the number of miles a car can travel on a gallon of fuel and very full efficient cars have lower mpgs as up to 50 mpg or 40 and some cars can actually go as high as up to 150 and 136 mpg that should tell you actually how much these cars will consume on fuel alone so guys thank you for watching this video and i hope you found it very educated all right guys thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and share this video please it will mean a lot to me
it's wood. Thank you.